Hey, up me old mucker, it's your power mark from the Game Busters UK team, bringing you episode 3 of my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Jewels. In this episode, we are taking on Weevil Underwood, Bog Boy himself. Look at that bowl cut, that is disgraceful. We have got to whip his ass just for having a bowl cut that terrible. And his hair is turquoise, like, come on. This guy have no pride? And he's wearing a dicky bow. This guy's just a mess. So, yeah, as you would expect, y um, Yugi, um, Weevil, uses insects because he's the only guy in the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe that shows any love to the insect archetype. I mean, I mean, come on, I've played Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, insects have got some cool looking cards, perfectly on my Great Moth, Great Moth, Insect Queen, but they, they just, they don't fly, you know, anymore because they're just so limited you know they don't have a whole lot of support insects are just a bad archetype um, no this is the thing I've got um, max C in my car in my deck um, which is the card on the far left of my hand and the game is gonna constantly tell me if I want to use it now basically what you do is if you send max C to the graveyard from your hand and if your opponent special summons, you get to draw a card off your opponent's special summon. Um, so now, because of the game mechanics, it's always it's always going to ask you, do you want to play this trap card? You know, and this is the one thing that I've always not liked about the Yu-Gi-Oh games is is like, yes, okay, you need it in there because how how does the game doesn't know when you want to play your spells and traps and, and effect monsters or whatever, but um, you know when you want to play them. And so, getting constantly asked, do you want to play this card? 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 Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Do you want to play that card now? Constantly getting asked that is kind of a real ball ache. But it's just something you got to put up with when you play Yu-Gi-Oh games. Because like I said, it's not a computer's fault. We don't, it don't know. It can't read your mind. Not a great hand. Not going to lie, this is a pretty shit hand. Um, if this card... It's sent to the graveyard. It's a single with two almost up. Yeah, okay. So, I can make a level 5 tuna. Level 5 tuna. Level 5 tuna. Level 5 tuna. It's pretty lame. Uh, this is the only thing I can do. Um, yeah, actually, I am going to um, get rid of Maxi uh, this turn. Because. I don't know if you heard that, that's just my dad in the background. Um, I'm going to get rid of Maxi because uh, there's no point in doing that. Well, I thought that he would have... Um, he has that... Um, he has that ultimate insect thing. And... Yeah, that's a special summon, isn't it? I thought he would have used that. So, I'm going to Synchro Summon to make TG Hyper Librarian. I'm going to hope he doesn't destroy it with some sort of dastardly trap card on the field. Because he's got two face down. They could be anything, for all I know. So, we're going to put TG Hyper Librarian on the field. Jet Falcon's going to inflict 500 points of damage thanks to its effect. Whenever you use it as part of a Synchro Summon, it will inflict 500 points of damage. Um... Yeah, um, now we'll see what I can do. Uh, let's attack one of his face downs. He's going to activate Wobaku. Good old Wobaku. Staple of all the old school Yu Gi Oh starter decks. Uh, okay. I don't know if he actually has Insect Queen in this deck. I think it centers around. So oh, he's got Man Eater Bug. <laughs> That's a throwback and a half. See, look at that, folks. Man eater bugs still relevant. You know, you think you're cool. You think I thought I was cool making my synchro summon there, my big old synchro summon, and then old school man eater bug just whooped my ass. I don't know why I have black pendant in my deck. I just do. Okay, don't don't judge me. Right, Madolce Chevalier and black pendant. Equip it to Madolce. I am going to 
set Madoche waltz because whenever a Madoche attacks or is attacked, you inflict 300 points of damage to the opponent. Oh, come on! Douchebag. I'm not doing too well this episode, am I? Getting pounded by just, you know, the old school tricks. Fucking Wabaku, Man Eater Bug, and Mirror Force. What can I do? What can I do against that? May as well if, if activate my trap because the computer, like I said, the computer is just going to ask me over and over again. Do I do you do you want do I want to activate it? Do I want to activate it? Um. Ah, oh, shit in hell. Um. I'm going to save up this guy. I have two TG monsters in my grave. Not enough to use this card. I'm going to summon Messenger Lato. Get rid of Man Eater Bug just because I'll piss off. <laughs> He's pulling out all like the old school traps. The gate attack. What is next? Fucking Mirror Wall. Dark Hole. <laughs> Ray Geki. Right. Mutually. Um. Uh, I don't have any Madolches in my hand. See, now I'm just stuck in limbo. Obviously, he's got nothing but crap on the field, otherwise, he would have attacked me by now. That's the thing with uh, the insects, is if you're going for that ultimate insect uh, strategy. Um, it is special. Whenever. For put, for put this face up card in your opponent's second shuffle it. When your opponent draws this card, you're supposed to come to the field and inflict a thousand points of damage. And then my monsters become insect monsters. Shit. That means if he uses insect to side. Um, if he uses the insect aside thing. Um, yeah, that's going to cause a problem to me. Again, I, I don't really have anything to do. I mean, on the off chance I do draw the parasite, I can use this and I can get rid of it. Um, which is quite handy, but I may have to use it to get rid of um, something else. Cocoon of Evolution! Yeah. So, I just attacked that. So, I don't know, maybe he does go for the um, Ormut Great Moth. But you gotta have Petty Moth, that's the thing. Uh, if I can lure him to attack, maybe I can use Mirror Force. I don't really want to destroy um, Pinch Hopper because he'll special summon something off of it. So I'm ki I'm kind of stuck until I can draw something that's good. Man, another negate attack. I suppose the silver lining is he's using him up. You know, he's used up Mirror Force. Has he used up Mirror Force? I thought he used Mirror Force. Yeah, he used Mirror Force, Wabaku negate attack so he's using up a lot of his um, traps which is good um, right so I can start using right here here we go this is how we do it this is how we do it folks use Mufle when you have um, the dog in your hand special summon the dog use Croissant's effect to send Mufle back to the hand where it belongs because look at him 500 attack, 300 defense, he's got no business being out on the field of battle. Get back in the hand, son. And then look, Croft's son is now... Look at that. He's a beast. Now technically, I could go for um, Tiaramisu. And I am going to go for Tiaramisu because I don't really think that my options are too great at this present moment in time. Because I can't get through... Uh, well, I can now, but I couldn't get through um, Cocoon of Evolution. Um, but I can now. Oh, are you going to flip another Wabaku on me? What's your game? You're just going to... He must have three. He must have three negate attacks. He must have three Wabaku. He's just stalling. He's stalling. You're stalling, Weevil. Stop stalling. Right, especially summon any number of Madolce monsters from your hand. And uh, shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. 
That would be cool if I had a lot of Madolches in my hand, but I only have Mufle, and Mufle is only good if you have another Madolche in your hand, which I do not. I have a bunch of crap in my hand. Um, to be fair though, I got Gale Lizard, so got that going for me. Right, now let's get rid of that cocoon. Finally. Finally. I just don't want to risk him pulling out perfectly ultimate great moth on me on the off chance that he does, you know, have it. Which he probably does because, you know, it's Weevil. Uh, oh, I just... Oh. I'm just stuck in like the worst position ever. He's got another parasite thing. That's gonna be a pain. Oh wait. Wait. I know he shuffled one into my deck. Yeah, he definitely shuffled one into my deck. But because I destroyed that one, it doesn't go in my deck. I've got so I've got one still hidden in my deck somewhere. If I draw it, it's bad news for me. Um, TG Hyper Rhino, Rush Rhino. Sorry. I am going to send whatever that trap. Oh, I can only send monsters. I can only send monsters back to the hand. That's kind of pointless. Right, Rush Rhino, attack that. Oh, shit in hell, another cocoon. And hopefully that is... Whatever that is, it's weaker than 1,400. Yes, it's Petite Moth. <laughs> Got lucky there. If it had been another cocoon, I would have uh, taken damage again. Insect Barriers. So... He's hoping that if... Oh, DNA surgery. Okay. So, all monsters are not insects. So, I can't attack. That is okay by me, though, because I have other means of dispatching you. I can make Black Ship of Corn. Uh, uh, do I want to, though? I need to get rid of her traps. Ah, uh, his, uh, his traps, sorry. Damn, this is frustrating. Yeah, that, that's um the one thing, like, I don't, in this deck, I don't think I have a lot of spell and trap removal, so. Um. What I can do is I have level three. Yeah. This no. I'm gonna cough again in a minute. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, like I said in the past, uh, in episode one. I'm having a lot of uh, respiratory issues at the moment. Um, TG Catapult. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, Mufle can't activate its effect. Flip you up. I can get you, but you're no good in this situation. You... I suppose you are. So, you and you. Right. Then I will use Invoker to special summon one Earth. In the process, I will get rid of Mufile. Because then that gives me something to use. Ah! Good, 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 good. Because then that gives me something to use. Um, 
Oh, I don't have a Madolce Beast. Crap. See, Messenger Light doesn't get his effect off. Um, but that is, you know, that's all hunky dory because now I can activate Tiara Misu's effect. The problem with that is. Um, and I can use Chateau to put them back in my hand, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's fine, that's cool. Yeah. Also, they go in the grave. Madolches don't go in the graveyard when they're destroyed. They, yeah, they go back to the hand. But, if you use them as XYZ materials and discard them that way, they do go to the graveyard. And if you discard them at the end of the turn by having too many cards in your hand, then they also um, go to the graveyard. What else can I special summon? Blah, 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 blah. Black Ship of Corn. Rush Rhino. I keep calling it Rush Rhino. It's Hyper. No, it's Rush Rhino. Yeah, it's Rush Rhino. Black Ship of Corn. Now, I think Pinch Hopper's effect only activates when it's. No. Okay, it's Sense of the Graveyard, right. So I will get rid of TG Rush Rhino, and I will send Pinch Hopper to the grave, hoping he doesn't have any insect monsters in his hand, which he doesn't. Superb. I will then uh, attack. Oh shit. I keep turning her in defense. I don't know why I can't attack because uh, yeah. Um, destroy. I mean, I may as well destroy one of his monsters. Destroy that one. It was another cocoon, huh? So he's got three cocoons that are down. He's gonna s special. No, he's gonna um. What summon? Um, I'm gonna activate Mirror Force. You know, you've been punking me out with traps. Safe Zone. Okay, not bad. Safe Zone basically, you use it, it's an equip. Well, it's basically an equip continuous trap card. You select one of your monsters, that monster cannot be destroyed by card effects or destroyed by a battle. Basically, your monster becomes invincible. However, if the monster leaves the field either by going back to the hand. Uh, are we still recording? Yeah, sorry about that. I just had a little interruption. And it's completely thrown me off what I was going to do. Yeah, so basically, Safe Zone makes it so that um, your um, monster becomes invincible, basically. Use Madolce Chateau. Yeah. Get two cards back in my hand. Sorry, uh, that this in, in, uh, distraction has really kind of um, thrown me off my game. It happens, you know. I don't, I haven't moved out yet, so I get distractions. You know, I got, I live with my parents. I got brothers. You know, there's going to be distractions sometimes when I record. I can't, you know, it's not like I have a professional setup. Um, so, ba -ba -ba -ba, what can I do? That's special summon only. Ah, I meant to summon. Um, no, I messed up there. I meant to summon um, Mufile. Oh well. The good news is we're going to win the duel this turn, so you know. Distraction be damned. 
Oh, yeah, we get a win, definitely. Hey, so we've beaten Weevil, me old mucker. So that's another win. On the cards. We won Scary Moth, which is a piece of crap. Doom Shaman. Yaksha. Valkyrie on the Magnet Warrior is pretty good if you've got if you've got the um Ooh. King of the Ice Barrier. Right, it's water monsters, I've got no business with water monsters. So we beat Weevil, we beat that bowl cut. <sighs> that put him basin haircutted freak. And our next opponent is going to be the card professor, Bandit Keith, Keith Howard. And we're not going to face him in America, we're going to face him right here. Um, but that'll be in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching me, old mucker. I have been Mark from the Game Busters UK team. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Um, give the video a big fat like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with this series. I'll hopefully release a video every week. It'll be a weekly thing, hopefully. Um, the only thing that remains to be said is take care and goodbye.